Hello YouTubers, uh, today I'm going to be degassing my wine, uh, which basically means that I'm just driving the CO2, the residual CO2 out of the wine by stirring it very big, vigorously. A um, couple reasons you do that, the first is because wine is supposed to be still, um, unless it's champagne or sparkling wine of course. And the second reason is that it clears much better if there are no little bubbles hanging on to all the, um, the particles, I guess, in the wine. Uh, two different tools that I have to do this. I got this. This fits on a drill, and it works very well. Um, you can see that it fits down in the carboy, and then when you start spinning it with the drill, the little arms poke out and stir the wine. So you can... There are a few different companies that make these. I got this as part of a lot, um, so I didn't intentionally go out and seek one of these out. Before that, I was actually using this. This is a coat hanger, or a piece of a coat hanger that's been bent. And you can see that the way that I bent it um, kind of still has a little bit of spring to it right there. So it would slip down in like that, still mounted on a drill, spun around, stirred the wine that way. Uh, worked equally well, but this did tend to kind of go a little bit slower and bang against the side of the, the carboy sometimes. So um, since I have this one now, this is the one I'm going to use. Okay, I have my degasser wand mounted on the end of my drill. Time to stir. 